Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. So Chipotle Grill announced back in the spring that they were going GMO free and there were signs on the restaurants. GMO free. It was a great campaign. And when I went into Chipotle, because my, my kids love Chipotle when we're on the run, um, it's not the cleanest of food, so don't be misled. Sure, they might be using Nyman Ranch pork, and sure, they might be using organic cilantro, and they've had this whole campaign how they use, you know, better ingredients over the years and how they're a different chain. But when you really look at a lot of the fillers and stuff, the ingredients, especially in their tortillas, it's just, it's something that, that you just can't say is clean food. Okay, let's put it that way. So when they came out with this GMO-free statement, I'm like, that's great. We walk in and I'm looking around and I'm like, you know, I'm just not buying it. It's just not something that I'm buying 100%. Now, in my restaurant, in Aroma Time... It didn't seem realistic, right? It didn't seem realistic, as Jamie's saying. It just didn't seem realistic. So, at my restaurant, we take every single step at Aroma Time to avoid GMOs. But I got to tell you, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And, you know, for us to say we're GMO-free would be fantastic but I make every effort to avoid GMOs okay that's my stance I make every effort to avoid it there's bourbons I have at the bar that, that they're probably using GMO corn and I'm not hundred percent sure we do have one organic bourbon we have a lot of bourbons where they say they use local non GMO corn but none, none, none of that's verified and you know and and miscellaneous things that come into the kitchen here and there might have you know whether it's dairy that might have been fed GMO you know we're not hundred percent organic at aroma time and Chipotle is not organic by any means so to, to say that they're GMO free I said that's 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 great but it's a little unlikely it's highly unlikely I should say as I walked in there I saw the sodas they were serving and they're serving Izzy's which are made by Pepsi and you know and Pepsi's a huge GMO supporter with their corn syrup so here comes the class action lawsuit I, I predicted this. I knew this was going to happen. Chipotle slapped with a class action lawsuit over GMO free campaign. A federal class action lawsuit has been filed against Chipotle Mexican Grill, alleging that the concept's claims of GMO free menu are misleading to consumers. The complaint takes specific issue with Chipotle's widely published Foods with Integrity campaign that began in April, April 2015 which declared that the chain was GM over it, GM over it, clever, and that it used GMO-free ingredients exclusively, according to Kaplan Fox and Kleischmer, Kleischmer uh, law firm uh, that filed the suit. The legal action asserts that many of the chain's menu items do, in fact, contain GMOs, including soft drinks, okay, and the meat and dairy products from which animals are fed GMO soy and corn okay so that stuff is coming from like example like conventional milk those animals are being fed GMO GMO corn they might even be giving a uh, growth hormone um, <laughs> which is a GMO product right there and then itself so to be able to trace everything back is is high it's so extremely um, it's, it's a long process now you can get products that have that GMO free seal on it that say um certified GMO free which is the whole testing program now at Aroma Time we buy as many of those as we possibly can that are that are actually certified GMO free but there's certain ingredients that are coming in that aren't certified GMO free and there's certain ingredients that you as a chef as a restaurant owner I can just buy from a distributor that says oh GMO free but there's like just a claim on it there's no there's no certification there might be an affidavit some companies tell me oh we have affidavits from our farmers that you that they don't use GMOs well it doesn't mean they're not getting contaminated from from the um, from the neighbor's farm and it doesn't mean that they're not lying right it's 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 to, to trace everything back is is extremely difficult and in a large chain like Chipotle that that relies upon I'm not gonna say all cheap products but that relies upon meaning a price point and buying things that are going to fit into a price point so they can still be considered fast food it's i thought of i personally thought it was highly unlikely and i never made a video on this and i should have made a video on this because i predicted this right from the get-go um, consumers are very concerned about what they eat and restaurants know that consumers place a premium on food that is considered to be healthy or natural 
And Chipotle has never competed really based upon price point compared to other fast food concepts. They've, they've, they've always been a dollar more, and, and but still in the realm of things, it's still on the fast food, less expensive side of restaurants. So they're still trying to meet price points. And I gotta tell you, I discovered Chipotle Grill back in the 90s in Colorado before McDonald's bought them. Um, they originated out of, out, out, of, out of Colorado, and yes, it is a McDonald's subsidiary, or it was at one point, I'm, sure, I'm probably sure it still is. Uh, McDonald's saw that concept and they gobbled it right up back in the 90s uh, from, out, out of Colorado. Um, as a result, Chipotle's advertising and its stores have accurately informed customers about the source and quality of the ingredients and should not mislead consumers that they are serving food without GMOs when they in fact are. So, I mean, when I walked in, I, I said, I said, obviously I said this is impossible, but just looking and seeing the sodas with, with corn syrup, I'm like, wow. So, I said to myself, this sign is very misleading. I said, so is it the food? Or is it just the food, is it the food and drink, is it the whole menu? Because you know, sometimes there's very misleading marketing. Well, our food is GMO free, but screw the soda, that can have GMO corn syrup in it. Screw the other things, but our food might be GMO free. So, you know, I'm still gonna make my stance at, at my restaurant that we make every effort to avoid GMOs that, that, that we possibly can. Am I guaranteeing? I'm not guaranteeing. I'm just saying, hey, I'm a conscious chef. I'm a conscious, conscious restaurant owner. I'm conscious about the choices that I'm making. So that's my stance at my restaurant. So Chipotle, class action lawsuit. What are your thoughts on GMO-free uh, Chipotle or the, the so-called GMO-free Chipotle? Did you believe it when it first came out? Leave your comments, leave your criticisms, hit like, um, pass this video on, share it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.